10 years ago, Elkhorn City residents said they did not want alcohol sales in the city. But a local group thinks it's time for another vote. Last week, a petition was delivered to the Pike County Clerk with over 150 signatures. That's 50 more than required to have the measure placed on the November ballot. Gypsy Cantrell Ratliff, a lifelong Elkhorn City resident, is leading the charge, which came as a surprise to many. But I don't think people was actually surprised that the petition started around again. They might have been a little bit surprised that we got it done so fast. But we had enough to actually file it after two days or two evenings. The last time Elkhorn City residents voted on the wet-dry measure, Ratliff was campaigning on the dry side. But she says times have changed. Because this town definitely needs the revenues. We've got a lot of plans to make forthcoming by the time 460 gets here. We're in an intersection in this community. Now we can either, we've got to decide which way we want to go and, and we can't go down no more. We're about as low as we're going to get. It's going to take uh, several things together, but this is a step in the right direction. Ratliff spoke at Tuesday's Elkhorn City Council meeting and informed them of the petition and of the upcoming vote. And she said a campaign to educate the public was forthcoming. We plan on trying to reach as many, if not every citizen in this community and, and answer any questions that they might have um, as to why we feel that it should go wet. And really to educate them on what the laws are and give them statistics and facts to show that the fears that they have about this being a drunken, drunken lawless town is, is just going to appear overnight. That's not going to happen. It hasn't happened in Jenkins. It hasn't happened in Whitesburg. It hasn't happened in communities all across the state. But it is going to be on the ballot and we'll have to wait and see what happens in November. And all I can say is the race is on.